Isotopic fractionation. Climate has not always been recorded. Proxies are used by scientists to understand past climate because they cannot physically go back in time and observe what climate was like millions of years ago. One way of determining past climate is through isotopic fractionation, a very important climate proxy, as it can tell us what temperatures were like on average for a region. First of all, what is isotopic fractionation? Let's break it down. An isotope is one or two or more atoms having the same atomic number but different mass numbers. And to fractionate means to, to divide or separate into parts or break up. So isotopic fractionation means to separate atoms at different mass numbers. The atoms being fractionated by nature are oxygen, and the two forms of oxygen isotopes are O16 and O18. When measuring samples that contain oxygen isotopes, those with higher amounts of O18 compared to O16 are said to have more positive O18 values or are enriched. Those with less O18 and a more O16 are considered more negative or depleted. The water cycle is important because it moves around oxygen from water to air to land and back again. This is done through evaporation, transpiration, and precipitation. O16 and O18 are transported around the Earth through the water cycle, carried by water vapor. Starting the fractionation process in the oceans, O16 and O18 is evaporated into clouds with more O16 than O18 being evaporated. As clouds travel, the heavier O18 gets precipitated out onto land masses and travels to the ocean. Clouds then head towards the poles or to continents. The lighter O16 is transported to the poles where it is stored in glaciers. As the oceans become more enriched with O18, the atmosphere and poles are enriched in O16, and this is the separation or the fractionation of the isotopes. This is a proxy for past temperatures in that, when climate warms, the O16 is returned to the ocean in runoff, which causes a more negative O18 ratio indicating that climate was warmer. This ratio can be observed by analyzing ice cores. glaciers hold and save the deposited O16, meaning less is in the oceans and more O18 is in the oceans. So if snow and ice are holding large ratios of O16, the climate is colder. Forams make their shells out of oxygen ions. Looking at the ocean floor layers, scientists can see the O16 and O18 ratio in the foram shells. This ratio can be observed by surface and deep ocean forams. Platonic foram shells are formed in the upper 100 meters of seawater. They are proxies for surface water temperatures. And benthic forams are formed in the deep sea waters and are proxies for deep ocean temperatures. Uh-huh.